It's a Shellac Stacks listening session here on Tone and Grooves. Some wild, cool, and swinging jazz tunes from the 1920s. Great stuff. You do not want to miss it. Take a listen. some swinging jazz fantastic stuff um that is the university six on the harmony label it's actually uh, a record that i picked up um at that junk shop um here it is uh, i'm gonna get some close-up shots but uh yeah it's on that harmony label from 1926 um the university six and that is it's a record i picked up at that at that junk shop um, in, that I showed in uh, just a, pre- a previous video not too long ago. Um, really kind of worn, you know, I was I was kind of uh, debating whether or not to go ahead with it and pick it up, but I was like, it's the University 6. And, you know, harmonies, um, as I've shared before, tend to play better than they look, sound better than they look. And, th- and this is true to form with with the harmony records i mean it it is pr- it's pretty worn um but it definitely plays better than it looks um sounds really good i mean there's some scratches and whatnot so it does kind of um there's some clicks and whatnot 
but other than that, it sounds really fine. And um, University 6, uh, probably uh, best known as a band that had uh, Adrian Rolini. Adrian Rolini played bass saxophone, a, a bass saxophone player. And he plays that thing like it's an alto. I mean, it's just amazing. Um, he's just a phenomenal player. One of my favorite musicians from the 1920s. And um, yeah, so he's on the University 6 uh, records and was so was super excited to find that you know, at a, at a junk shop in Northwest Wisconsin, uh, where I normally find, you know, uh, polka records and, you know, lots of Perry Como and, uh, you know, Chris, <laughs> all my 78s UK, <laughs> lots of Perry Como records um, and polka records. So really kind of a very surprising find to get that in a junk shop here in Northwest Wisconsin. Um, going to play the other side the other side is a song called san san s-a-n and um, as you listen to this one be listening for that that bass saxophone adrian merlini he's all over this side and it's truly fantastic so i'm gonna just clean this off one more time and we're gonna listen to san university six with adrian rolini University six with Adrian Rolini. That dude could play the saxophone. Just amazing. I love it. Um, he played vibraphone too, which is kind of interesting. Um, there's some some later 
um, records that Adrian Rolini and his trio, um, the Adrian Rolini trio did for Decca records, um, like in the thirties and forties. And, uh, he plays vibraphone on those. So, I mean, multi-talented, um, instrumentalist, just a ph phenomenal musician. Um, anyway, Next up is um, a record that I thought was a loss. Um, this is actually King Oliver and his Dixie Syncopators on the Vocalion label. Um, this is also from 1926. This is a record that I found at that same uh, junk shop that I showed in um, that recent video. Um, but last summer, I picked this up last summer. And, you know, s similar kind of deal, like, you know, so unusual to find, I mean, number one, I've never, this is the first time ever that I've encountered a King Oliver record in the wild. Um, so that's just, that's a rare occurrence for me. Um, and, you know, to find a King Oliver <laughs> record at that junk shop here in Northwest Wisconsin, where we usually have you know, lots of polka records and Perry Como records and whatnot. Um, I said, um, introduce this by saying I thought it was a loss because um, it was it was cracked, um, about a inch long crack at the edge of the record. You know, going into the grooves, uh, which I did not notice, uh, probably because <laughs> in the thrill of the excitement of having found a King Oliver record in the wild. Um, for a dollar at that junk shop, um, I just grabbed it and took it and uh, probably didn't pay super close attention to the condition of it. Um, and it did have a little a crack. So I thought it was a loss, but I hung on to it just kind of, you know, well, you know, I'm just going to keep it. And uh, here recently, you know, what, this last week when I went out to that junk shop again here this spring, and um, as I shared in that video, um, cracked a, a Bing Crosby record as I was lifting the records out of the car. And um, so I did some research, looked online, and found that, um, you know, one method for um, fixing cracked records is to put a little tape on the edge, you know, kind of bring those, the, the two sides together, if you will, keep flatten it out um, as best you can and then put some tape on the end. And so I did that with that Bing Crosby record. It allows that to be played. So I tried that with this King Oliver record, and um, it allows this to be played as well. So there's a little bit of a click there where it goes through that at the beginning. But overall, um, it plays well. So let's give this a listen. Um, this is King Oliver and his Dixie Syncopators. This is Jackass. Let me make sure I got the right side. Yep. Jackass Blues.
just a fantastic song. Uh, that was Georgia Taylor, who I'd never heard of before. Georgia Taylor on uh, vocals. Just a fantastic tune. Man, King Oliver could play the cornet, the trumpet. Man, just fantastic. Um, and so excited to like to save the record with the tape method. Um, Going to play the other side. The other side is called Deep Henderson. Deep Henderson. So that is coming up next. Fantastic. King Oliver and his Dixie Syncopators on Vocalion from 1926. Some swinging tunes. And a record that I thought was going to have to be trashed that was saved. <laughs> uh, okay, up next is, um, here's a Victor record. Uh, this is from 1928. This is uh, Ben Pollock and his Park Central Orchestra. Um, the first side is She's One Sweet Showgirl. Um, super cool tune. Um, this is a little more... This side, is, I mean, it's jazzy, but it's a little more, you know, in the tw 1920s dance music category, but it definitely is jazzy. Um, yeah, she's one sweet showgirl with kind of a comedic vocal. Oh, I don't remember her name. <laughs> <laughs> 
I want to say her name is Belle Mann. Belle Mann. But I'm going to double check that in the guide while we're listening to Ben Pollock and his Park Central Orchestra play She's One Sweet Showgirl. One sweet showgirl. Um, yeah, fun tune. And it is uh, Bell Man. Bell Man is the, the vocalist on that. Um, super cool tune. Um, we, I'm going to flip over to the other side. Um, we're going to play Side B, which is a super fun song called Bye Bye for Baby or Baby Will Bye Bye You. So... Bye bye for baby, B U Y, B U Y for baby, or baby will bye bye you, B Y E, B Y E. <laughs> um, so take care of your, your lady, or she's gonna leave. <laughs> um, that's, that's what this one is. And um, there are. There are some great people on this record. We've got Jimmy, McP Jimmy McPartland and Al Harris on cornet, Jack Teagarden on trombone, Benny Goodman on clarinet, and um, a bunch of other people. But those are the people that are that I recognize and are kind of big names. Jimmy, Jimmy McPartland, Jack Teagarden, Benny Goodman. Uh, we got Bell Man again on a vocal, and I got a really hot clarinet solo with Benny Goodman on this tune. So I'm gonna clean a needle, dust the record, and let's listen to Bye Bye Baby, or Baby Will Bye Bye You. <laughs> Thank you. 
tune, swinging, jazzy, 1920s dance music with some phenomenal players on there and a, a nice hot solo there from Benny Goodman. Super cool. Um, was excited to pick that up in a junk shop here in the local area for a dollar. Um, so yeah, totally cool. Hey, uh, that's gonna be it for this shellac stacks listening session. Thank you so much for, for watching, listening, um, you know, chime in. I really enjoy the, uh, the feedback, the, uh, you know, the dialogue back and forth. Um, so really appreciate the comments, drop those, if you will, um, subscribe if you like, as I say, always appreciated, never expected. Um, but yeah. And, um, I guess that's it until next time. Stay in the groove.